This room is called the Blue Room, and it's adjacent to the governor's office and area. And it's, it's used for formal signings and, and events. My name is uh, Joe Batchelor, and I'm a foreman for Evergreen Architectural Arts. A good design is a process of distillation. You're taking an idea, and every step you make it stronger and more defined. The way the process usually begins is our conservatives come in and make exposure windows where they remove layers of paint and they try to get down to the historic levels and they create a palette that we will work from. Usually I start with very rough thumbnail sketches. You know, you look at reference from the architecture, you look at the style of the building, and then we send the reference and the sketches to our studio in New York. And we have artists that are just masters of ornament. So they do refined drawings, present them back to the client, which is the capital, and they send that back to us. Then, then it becomes part of the production. And that's where my job comes in, is interpreting between the studio's vision, the client, and the actual space. You can pick a color in a book, put it up, and you really don't know till you see it. Very traditional historic technique to get a design on a ceiling is called a pounce. You do a drawing on paper, but you poke holes in the paper, you apply the paper where you want, and you have a cloth, like a t-shirt type cloth, filled with charcoal, and you pounce or pat that against the design, and that pushes the charcoal through the little holes and it transfers the design. And that is great when you have to do the same design repeat it over and over again. So the pounce isn't a finished design. The pounce is really just like a, a guide. It guides you. The beauty of decorative painting is in the brushwork. So at that point, you, you just have to have experience and a good hand and uh, a language for the ornament. So here's a perfect example down here of the graphic lay-in of the ornament and many buildings they would just do with the three stencils, with the three main colors. For me, I, I could have used stencils for this, but literally it's almost as much work for me to do that as to hand paint it. And it's just a lot more fun to hand paint. And what I'm doing here is laying down the foundation of what we're going to later finish. And it's basically like a color study of uh, dark, medium, and light. So you got your darks and you lay them in, and then you have your medium tones, and then you have your light tones. And when you blend them all in together and do your little highlights and Joe's little magic, then you come up with a beautiful ornament that reads really well from any height. Literally taking one highlight and just a little bit of blending of the colors, very minimal actual blending, you can create a real illusion of a uh, trompe l'oeil or a form. You add in a, a cast shadow and uh, just a few simple techniques and it just gives you a much more lush or rendered image.